Welcome back, friends, to another reading. It's Saturday, February 5th, and we're going to do a daily message for you this morning. I've pre-shuffled already, so I'm just going to keep it short here. Noche Obscura, Initiation, and Death in the Reverse. All right. All right. Check this out. Noche Obscura is sort of the lowest point. Um, what do they describe that sort of in storytelling? The Noche Obscura, the, um, the dark night of soul. So someone has seen the bottom. Someone's bottomed out, sort of. And that is a rite of passage. That's what initiation is saying. Something had to happen... Um, potentially that caused a lot of pain um, into so that you could move into another level of something of what I don't know and so now you are being initiated into this new onto this new path this new sphere this new realm or something and death in reverse you see how she's got this mask that's breaking free the message here is to not hold on to those crumbling pieces of the mask. And I love the imagery of this. There's everything weaves together in this deck. If you can see sort of like the cracking of her shield is exposing what the Noche Obscura person's cloak looks like. It's almost like they're cloaked in the universe itself, in the stars. The flames behind the death character um, refer to that which is falling away, the, the stuff, the structures that are becoming destroyed in order to reveal your true nature. So um, it came in the reverse, so this is a message to be more vulnerable, um, be more tender uh, with yourself as your mask falls away, um, and be brave. Honestly, this is a time to be brave in, in who you are and move boldly into who you're supposed to be. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Five of Swords underneath. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. King of Swords. Let's lay this out a little bit differently. Just trying to make some room. All right, bear with me. Queen of Cups. Death. There's death in the middle, as it should be, center stage. The theme for today, there's the star um, coming to address the uh, Noche Obscura. Uh, Page of Wands, I see that as a little bit of initiation right there, and the Page of Pentacles. You have three pages on the table. Woof. This was hard one. If you've been um, fighting something um, like depression or anxiety, um, anything like that, if you've been struggling with something that's been for a real like a real uphill battle, I feel like what's changing now, this initiation, is that you've <laughs> you realize that you literally cannot get any worse or at the very least either either you feel like you, you can't get any worse or you've maybe like I, I, I sense just acceptance things could always get worse right we have to acknowledge that because we have to find our way back to gratitude somehow to say I know that this sucks, but at least 
you know, at least I'm here. At least we have the miracle of, of being here right now. Okay, so that's, to me, that's the embodiment of the Queen of Cups right there, that intuitive knowing of, um, I could still feel things. I know that this has been difficult, life has been difficult, and I've been working to cut out feelings, but what is happening is that there is, there is a shift happening where, where that's starting to open up again, possibly. Uh, turning toward hope. The change, the transformation here is finding hope again. And so, yeah, and I see anxiety turning into potential or an idea or some sort of seed being planted. Um, and some truth, I think, is going to come out about some fresh start that you want to have. Um, I think that this, this is a six of wands. I mean this, yeah, the six of wands isn't here, which is like the victory card, but this is a victory. This is a victory hard one for sure. We have the 10 of wands underneath, just sort of peeking out. This is the burden right underneath. This is what you've left behind or are leaving behind. Um, okay, let's do some clarifications. How about, um, let's take a look at the King of Swords. So, sorry, in the future position, there. by the way, there's a lot of people on here, right? The King of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, Water, Earth, Air, Fire. I mean, there's literally every element here. Queen of Cups. So you're either in, in sort of compassionate company here. Um, let's take a look at the King of Swords first. Ace of Wands. Yeah. So what I just say, you're in compassionate company. I think that who you are around, who you are around has changed. Maybe like something has changed around, um, you know, either reconnecting with people or, um, from your past maybe, because that's also sort of like these young, young folks over here. Um, also the two of wands is here, so yeah, you've definitely clarified something for yourself and made a decision to get to free yourself of something, to get open about something. That's the transformation, is to lose that mask. To lose the mask. What was this mask? Tell me more about the mask. Queen of Wands, the Fool. Ace of Cups. Interesting. The mask, um, it's, it's saying that the mask is hiding some sort of feelings of passion or love. And the fool in the center. So maybe you were hiding this because it felt foolish to be honest about how you feel about a situation. I'm not sure what this situation is about, but um, let's see here. I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what it is though, does it? it? I think it just matters. What are you not being honest about to yourself? It has to do with your heart center, something you connect to deeply and has something to do with what inspires you, something that you are drawn to and motivated by. That's what matters. And so the change and the initiation is saying, I no longer want to be working 
in a place or working on things or being around people that don't serve my highest good or don't, um, you know, that I just, that you just simply don't want to be around. In the past, there's, yeah, there's, there's, there's this work, right? The eight of pentacles and the queen of cups and the star that's Aquarius that could be Aquarius season right now but that's also the hope it's almost like it's saying somebody's been working on themselves um, working on replacing fear with hope um, or fear with compassion to get to a more hopeful state and that is that is causing this transformation um, it looks like that in the future there might be something unexpected will turn out um, so either a love offer or an uh, or an opportunity like a job offer because there's the page of cups and the page of Pentacles and you're showing up I think in the current position as somebody who now is at least a little bit more hopeful in a place of being at least open to seeing what will come down the line and so there are a couple of things here so let's get a couple cards around this opportunity in the future the tower yeah sudden like i said page of swords a sudden message And the five of pentacles okay so somebody might reach out to you suddenly saying that they need your help with something maybe this is one of those things where if you've been able to figure this out for yourself um how to deal with fear depression anxiety somebody might come to you in a desperate time of need um with a message say you know i need something i need your help or can we talk and I think you'll be in a position, even though you are in transition yourself, there's like this new beginning. I feel like there's a, there's a little bit of that self-mastery happening here at the same time where you are learning, you're transforming, and at the same time, you're like bringing somebody with you. All right. Um, let's get a timing card. Ten of Wands. Hmm. I mean, so, you know, ten days, ten months, ten hours. Who knows? <laughs> I'm not trying to prove any sort of, pre like, predictive skill here, honestly. Uh, but it's curious. You know, if this resonates with you and you believe that this is something you just feel is... Speaking to you, the Ten of Wands, what does that say to you? The Ten of Wands is the burden card. So it's almost like it will happen when when some situation gets out of, um, becomes too much to handle. Or it might come at a time when you feel like you are very busy and you might overlook that someone is reaching out to you for help. So just pay attention to that. Um, since you've got, you've received this reading, you now know, uh, the potential of something like this. Let's go ahead and read the death card in reverse from the book, just to make sure we didn't miss any messages. Um... There are many types of deaths. In this deck, it can represent the end of a cycle, a relationship, the ego, or old constructs that enforced illusions and did not allow us to see the truth. Here, the mask represents what we show others, what we think others want to see of us. A realization, the truth, breaks the mask of illusion and reveals what is hidden. The person is broken and unhappy. It is a painful experience to face the truth of some situations. 
However, although the truth has caused heartbreak, within the heart is the birthing of the cosmos. It is the birth of new loves, ideas, and endless possibilities. Sometimes in order to be our higher selves, we have to destroy our masks and live in truth. It is the sacrifice of our old self so that our new self can rise anew from the ashes. An alternate reading of the last three cards, right? Just based on what we just read on the death card was that the sudden message and then this five of pentacles, this need. It's the sudden need for truth at a time when you cannot take it any longer. Okay. This is the transformation. This read is like the that moment, the initiation, the beginning of your new self is the moment that you shed the mask and ask for the truth to come and sort of wash you clean, essentially. Just when you can't take it anymore, the truth comes and washes you clean. That's a very powerful read for today. Um, I hope that it helps. Um, by the way, I just want to say, if you're watching these videos, um, I've literally just started this channel, you know, maybe two months ago at this point. And so if you don't know me and I don't know you, uh, what a lucky thing that you found and watched this video. Um, so do me a favor and uh, subscribe to the channel and like. Um, it is my intention to keep going with these and I could use your energy, I could use your support. Um, and yeah, feel free to drop a comment if you have any um, thing you want to share with me. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next one.